So I want to talk to you a little bit about um, the nerd fitness vision. Okay. So you've gone from basically nobody to a huge blog. Like I've seen the numbers, it's crazy. A very successful blog. It's like really, he's a good, a good uh, a person to track because you can see how he just grew and exploded. And I want to know, like, what do you feel were the biggest jumps in your business, like, or your readership? Sure. Basically? Honestly, uh, the, the 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 thing I could point to specifically was about nine months after I'd started. Nine months in, I had cranked out five articles a week while working a day job. Five articles every week, mm -hmm. and they were like, but they were five, you know, they were five hundred word articles, okay. like top 10 tips to do this and you know like crap that I thought I was supposed to be writing mm -hmm. but was not actually being effective mm -hmm. and I stumbled across Baker from Man Vs. Debt yeah. and he wrote an article called How to Not Suck at Blogging <laughs> and I read this article and that was the first time I'd ever, I'd ever heard of Baker and I read his article and I was like okay I suck at that, I suck at that, I suck at that, I suck, mm -hmm. wow, I suck at blogging. I'm doing the exact opposite of all, of all these things. Yeah, what did you say? Basically write longer in depth. Yeah, it was just put your personality out there. Like, you, you know, if you want to attract the skimmer, somebody that reads the top, reads a top 10 list and then forgets about it and moves on to the next top 10 list but never actually applies anything, mm -hmm. write those articles. If you want to find somebody that is super engaged and, and loves uh, you know, loves your message and really wants to become involved and, and, and you know, become a part of, of what you're trying to create. Mm -hmm. Create, don't be afraid of writing long articles full of, full of in-depth information and, yeah. and nerdy personalities. And your articles are pretty long and super nerdy. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they tend to be like over 2,000 words on average, you think? Like oh, that, abs absolutely. Oh, they're at least 2,000. Yeah, his articles are very long. You have pictures and they very much inject personality. I love the way that you do it. So I want to know more about, um, about the, 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 the growth side. So sure. you say, first of all, you did, you started writing better articles, you started writing mm -hmm. more in-depth articles, did you cut down the amount of articles you were writing? Yes, instead of doing five a week, I cut to two a week. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but I just put my focus on being very, very helpful in very specific ways. We were talking about earlier that people just want to be told exactly what to do. Yeah. So I realized, like, okay, I'm gonna start writing articles and telling people what to do. Yeah. So I was like, okay, here's a beginner body weight workout. Mm -hmm. Do this, 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 and this. Here's the paleo diet. Don't eat this. Eat this. Yeah. Do you want to look like a superhero? Here's a superhero workout. Do you want to do workout while traveling? Here's a workout that you can do while traveling. Do this, this, and this. So you made it very actionable, very clear. Not yes. 10 steps, but you one formula. Exactly. Ab absolutely. You could finish the article and say, okay, I know exactly what I need to do this afternoon to level up my life. Got so it. I could follow it. So I spent, uh, from that point on, I it was like another year of two articles a week, 2,000 words. Um, I haven't written many guest posts, believe it or not. I've written like, I think maybe five total. Mm -hmm. uh, so I really, I just put my focus on being helpful. Like when people emailed me or people left a comment on the article, on an article, I would email them directly and say, hey man, thanks for the comment. How did you find Nerd Fitness and what can I help you with? That's good. And I did that for, I did that for a couple of months up until it got to the point where I just couldn't keep up with it. But it gave me a very, very direct line to people that had stumbled across the site, had decided they liked it so much that they left a comment, mm -hmm. and then I could ask them, hey, what are you struggling, what are you working on, what are you struggling with, and how can I help? Exactly. And for, I did that for a couple months, and that kind of shaped the, the direction of how I was going to write, and uh, I think the real, the real turning point when Nerd Fitness kind of took off after that was when I decided to add message boards to my site. Mm -hmm. And normally message boards are like one step above YouTube as far as, you know, the cesspool of the internet. It's, yeah. You know, YouTube comments. It's like YouTube comments, 4chan, and then um, yeah. message boards. Like people exactly. just attack each other and, and uh, use the, uh, the anonymity. Did I say that right? Sure, and, why not? Anonymity. anonymity of the internet to hide behind that and, and attack other people. But I knew I had this, this really cool concept and I had a group of people that were very interested in... in being nerdy and and healthy. So you build this forum, people come, they start- Instead of us going back, instead of being Steve Cam talking to a reader, then reading back or emailing back, it yeah. became all the readers could now talk to oh, each okay. other. Yeah. And it went from be, being a reader, being a blog, I call it like a boy in his blog, it is now a community. So yeah. now there's like 8,000 people posting on the message boards and they're organizing meetups in their own towns, whether or not I'm there or not. That's awesome. Um, People like, uh, I have one guy that wants to get a nerd fitness tattoo. Uh, I'm like, yeah, and they, they come up with all the ideas and just, if you, if you ever get a, if you get a chance, spend like five minutes on the nerd fitness message boards, you'll be blown away. People don't fight. Um, it's all like constructive, positive, Great. Uh, supportive, 
And like I said, people, you know, we have a section called the Woot Room, and people, like, hey, I lost ten pounds this, I lost ten pounds this month, or like, I got a, I got a new pair of jeans that I actually fit in. And you know, if they're the one person in their group of friends that is actually interested in getting healthy, their friends don't care how much they can deadlift. They yeah. want to know how many kills they got in Halo. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly. But here they can come online and say, like, oh, cool, I can actually talk about both Halo and deadlifting. Yeah. This is my new home. <laughs> so people find it and. It's 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 very cool to see how quickly people just you know, become very attached.